What's up guys? Mr. Stark here over at Porter and Chester and I'm going to explain circuit breaker myths. So first things first, let's take a look at the sheet that we have in front of us. I got this offline which is actually a very interesting article about circuit breaker myths and basically what it says is uh, most people think that a circuit breaker is supposed to trip when it's hit its rating. So in other words, if a 15 amp breaker sees 15 amp breakers then it or 16 or 17 amps that it would trip instantaneously and that couldn't be further from the truth because of certain uh, time curve trip characteristics and the information that I've got here I'm going to test this in my experiment is we're going to load a 15 amp breaker up to 200 percent which means we're going to attempt to put 30 amps on a 15 amp breaker and according to this article it should trip in less than two minutes. I think it's going to trip much sooner than that but this is the allowable time that uh, the manufacturer will allow it to go before the insulation on the branch circuit wire will degrade and to further put this to the test I'm going to put a heat gun on the insulation of the wire just to see what the ambient temperature is before startup and then what it is at the time of trip. So without further uh, but do we're going to take a look at this and see what I have set up in this booth. I have a hot box that generates somewhere in the range of 14 to 15 amps so that'll pretty much load up that 15 amp breaker but I also put in some high wattage uh, swimming pool lights just so I wouldn't have to have a bunch of stuff on the circuit and I'm going to turn them on and watch the load increase incrementally and then of course we have a clock that we're going to see how long it takes for it to trip. So over here you can see right now the hot box is, is on. I'm, I'm hitting about 14 and a half amps. And what I'm going to do from this point is turn on a series of lights to increase the load. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn this on, which was one 500 watt bulb added to the load. And now we're at 18.2 amps. And we are on a 15 amp breaker. So many people that don't know anything about electricity would say hey that's supposed to trip well it won't because right now I haven't I'm not even at hundred and thirty percent of the circuit breakers rating this will probably sit here at 18.4 amps for quite a while before it trips so the next thing I'm going to do is increase this to another 500 watt lamp and now we're at 22 so take a look we're at 22 amps and right now I'm going to look at our stop clock and see how long it takes before that trips. So let's just pretend we've been on for about 10 seconds. We started around here and right now we're reaching the 15 second mark. And let's just see how long it takes. At 23 amps, right now it finally tripped about 25 seconds later, just as the manufacturer suggested. So. If we take a, uh, a reading, let me just see what we can see here. I'm going to attempt to get my laser on the wire. So you can see my laser is actually on the wire. See that red dot on the wire. And right, that temperature was about 72 degrees right after it tripped. So it didn't have enough time to dissipate heat. The ambient temperature before the test was 71.3, so I know it didn't climb that much. So let's take this step another, a little bit further. We're going to reset this. We're going to turn this off and we're going to see how long it takes a 15 amp breaker to trip with 18.2 amps on it. And in all likelihood, the thermal properties of this breaker are still pretty heated up a little bit. And uh, from 71.3, let me see if I can show you here. I'm zoning in on the wire and right now we're about 73 degrees on my thermal gun and it is climbing 73.3 so let's take a, a little minute here and see what happens I'm going to try to keep my heat gun on the wire so I get as accurate as possible reading of that insulation we're about 18 something amps right now my put that in the correct position 18.1 amps on a 15 amp breaker 14 gauge wire and we've been going for 30 seconds plus and let's see how long that takes before that trips 
And once again, we're about 120% of the circuit breakers rating. And we still haven't tripped, which is fine because you have to understand the concept of this uh, 90C conductor. The insulation has a rating essentially of 187 degrees Fahrenheit before it degrades. And right now, once again, we're not even past 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So this thing's really got a long ways to go before it actually thermally breaks down. And that's the whole reason why they're allowed to go to a certain percentage beyond because you're not going to melt that insulation fast. It's just not going to happen. So right now we're still, we're approaching over a minute and 18 amps still cooking away to the touch. It doesn't feel any different than it would have in the begin with. And let's just see what we got here again for our thermal reading. You know, you know, we're still pretty close to the same. 73 degrees, give or take 74. Closer we get to the breaker, 75, well within range. So this insulation's got a long ways to go. And we're approaching the two minute mark at 18 amps. So if you're troubleshooting, just keep this in mind. We're gonna stop this video. If you're troubleshooting and you come across a circuit that obviously has a little bit more amperage on it than the circuit breaker's rating and it's not tripping, well, you know based upon this article here, and you could certainly look this up, uh, there's a lot of myths involved with circuit breaker uh, philosophy, what people think. So remember, 135% can go for less than an hour. So you could be rated over that and it should trip in less than an hour. 200% it's supposed to trip in less than two minutes. We saw 200% tripped at about 15 seconds, so pretty, pretty good. That's it, hopefully this helps you understand circuit breaker myths. See you at the next video.